Easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? Hey, everyone. This is Jeff Shine, the voice actor of Carlos Oliveira in Resident Evil 3, and you're checking out the Resident Evil database, the right place for Resident Evil fans. Uh, well, I got cast as Carlos um, pretty traditionally. Uh, I auditioned for the role um, and eventually met with producers and the director. Uh, and, and from there, I was cast. You know, so it's a, it's a pretty standard sort of format for that. Um, and then when we started working on the project, uh, you know, I don't really remember the, the exact date. You know, these development cycles for games are pretty long, uh, many of them over two years or more. Um, so we'd been working on it for quite a while, and, and we were back and forth from uh, Japan and the U.S. doing both motion capture and voice. So I never played the original uh, Resident Evil 3, though I'm familiar with like the universe and, and the world and the characters, but I think it's a good thing in some ways, in so much as, you know, I didn't want to bring anything forward. You know, you, you, you want to hold true to some of the things that people love about the character, but certainly this is like a, a reimagining of the story, it's a retelling, it's a new take on it, and, and we sort of push the characters in slightly different directions. And I think, you know, what we found this take on Carlos was going to be a little bit different. And, and so the only thing I can really offer as an actor is my own version of the character. So I think you never want to try to reproduce or create a facsimile of, of a character that's already existed, right? Like that version of Carlos exists in that game. And this is a, a new version. You know, it's, it's our collective take on the character now. In order to prepare for Carlos, I mean, it was really just about, um, first and foremost, what was on the page. I mean, you know, looking at the script and, and seeing uh, and talking about the writer's vision and, and the director's, Steve's vision, it was really where it all began, you know, and certainly you, you, you take those two things and then you add your vision as well, right? And, and that's really my responsibility as an actor, which is to, which is to offer... Um, you know, my take on the character, you know, my version of this guy. Um, and so, you know, we, we talked about a lot of different components of Carlos and, and sort of what makes him who he is. Um, we, had, we played in the beginning with the idea of possibly doing an accent, but I think ultimately we, it just felt more organic to just play him in my natural voice without doing an accent. Uh, you know, but we, we kicked that around for a little while. And certainly one of the other things that really helps is um, visual references. So, you know, in the beginning, I saw some early concept art, um, and that was all the way back uh, at the beginning of the audition process. Um, and then when we got on set, you know, we could see the, uh, the character models, you know, animating in real time. Um, and so, you know, just knowing what the character looks like, you know, for me is always really helpful. Uh, it informs a lot about sort of the directions you may or may want to go into. Um, and so, you know, having that information available from the get-go definitely informed part of the direction I wanted to take uh, Carlos in. I really enjoyed uh, Carlos a lot. I think, you know, he's, uh, he's headstrong. He's definitely capable. I mean, he's a highly, highly capable guy, and I, I, I like that aspect about him. Uh, you know, you know, you can rely on him to get the job done. Uh, I also think, you know, he's, he's, he's got a great sense of humor. He's sort of um, playful in a way and, and has this real like sort of easy, casual sarcasm sort of flirtation. And, and for me, like, I, I think I have some of those qualities as well. So, you know, all you're really ever doing when you're playing a character in some ways is just dialing up different parts of you. You know, you dial up different volumes you turn this up you turn that down you know and, and it creates something new um so i would say you know there's always a, a piece of you somewhere in every character but but i think certainly for for me and carlos um you know we shared a lot of common ground
You know, I have theories about where Carlos is from and, and what his sort of backstory is beyond, you know, what the canon has told us. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to leave that up to the fans to decide for themselves. Uh, Carlos is from wherever you want him to be. Yeah, I don't know that I can say there was one uh, moment that stood out singularly that was my favorite moment but but this experience as a whole was really special to me um it was the first time i had gone to japan uh so that you know that in and of itself was was an amazing experience and just like you know really eye-opening and, and and culturally interesting and and so getting to experience this whole other culture and and also experiencing it through the lens of working as well um which I think is a little bit different. You know, so getting to work with the with the Japanese team, um, it was just a really sort of special experience for me personally. Um, and then you know the cast and the crew, uh, the, you know the director, the production team, it was really just a joy. I can honestly say it was really just a joy to work on, uh, and I would gladly work with any and all of them again. Well, as far as projects that I'm working on, uh, there's a couple that I can talk about. Um, I'm working on Marvel's Avengers, which I'm really excited about. I get to do the uh, voice and body work for Captain America, uh, and that's being done by Crystal Dynamics, Marvel, uh, Square Enix. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of that project. And then I'm also working on a game called Disintegration, which is being developed by a, a company called V1 Interactive uh, and being published by Private Division and um, Take-Two. And uh, I'm voicing a character named Romer Scholl, and, and that's a um, that's a really sort of interesting futuristic story that I'm I'm, I'm really excited about. I think it's a really unique, and uh, I'm excited for the the fans to get a chance to dive into the narrative of that. And then there are a number that are still under strict NDA, so um, if I want to keep my job, I can't talk about those. <laughs> And to the fans, you know, I just like to say from the bottom of my heart, really thank you guys. Uh, you know, your support, your enthusiasm, your your artwork, you know, all your contributions to the to the Resident Evil universe and this game specifically. You know, you don't know how much it means. You know, you you really invest yourself in these projects, and it's really um, it's satisfying and gratifying to have a group of fans who are are so enthusiastic about your work and so supportive and. Um, you know, so really a, a heartfelt thank you. I hope you guys enjoy the game. I hope it gives you um, something fun to, to do and, and, and a universe to escape to during these sort of stressful times. And, um, and to the fans of Carlos specifically, you know, I hope you love the new haircut. <laughs> um, and uh, and it, was a, it was a real honor to get a chance to, to play him. And uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's, it's, uh, it means more than you know.